course we do. Listen, I won't stand here any longer and listen to this. You are not making sense. All right, let me spell it out for you then. You came in, you saw my mum on the floor and you walked out. You, you honestly think I would, I would leave her in that state? Well, how did that bread get here then? This is a new loaf. What? I went out first thing this morning and bought it, so we had it fresh. I saw it yesterday. I picked the flaming thing up. You've got this very wrong, Tim. You are accusing me of something awful, and quite frankly, it's ridiculous. And I have the right to tell it how it really was. I'm listening. Oh, first time for everything. I'm trying to protect you. From a kind and gentle man who loves me. You're deluded, Mum. Listen, enough! Now, before she was taken to hospital, your mother was feeling unwell. You know that. So I went to make her a sandwich. The bread was moldy, so I went to Freshco's. They didn't have her favorite, so I decided to order lunch in as a treat to make her feel better. I came home, saw the ambulance, and the rest you know. There was already bread here. Correct! The moldy loaf I threw away last night after I was at the hospital with your mother. But there's bread here now. As I said, I was at Freshco's at dawn today waiting for the bread delivery. Listen, I was feeling useless. I was desperate to make you better. And, okay, maybe I... I overthought it. Yeah, you don't care what bread we have, but I was worried about you. I, I am worried about you. All right, so if you'd been to Freshco's, how come you came back via Rosamond Street? Hmm? Come the scenic route, did you? Okay. You got me. I hold my hands up. I do not deal with illness very well. I go to the extreme in my head. I, I spiral, I suppose, particularly when it has to do with someone I love. So I needed a minute to collect myself. Now, I, I didn't want you to see me worried. I, I want to be your rock. So I, I took a detour to Roy's, had a coffee, took a minute to calm myself. And I cannot tell you how utterly guilty I felt when I saw you being wheeled into that ambulance. I mean, I stopped for a drink and, and, and you could have died as a result. I am so, I am so sorry. You did nothing wrong. Oh, look, Stevens explained himself to you. What do you want, blood? I don't. But he might. Oh, that's enough. Get out. Go on, get out!